Hi guys, today we'll be talking about how to calculate mean latitude. Uh, a couple of students have contacted me and they asked me uh, how to find out how to calculate mean latitude and that's why I'm making this video. So my focus today will be on mean latitude. Uh, what is mean latitude? For those of you who don't know what mean latitude is, although it's called mean latitude and sometimes you may think that it is the mean of values and it looks like that as well when you're calculating it but actually the meaning is that uh, mean latitude is the midpoint between two latitudes so if you can see this example here uh, this example shows that if the vessel is traveling from 10 degrees north to 10 degrees south uh, the midpoint between these two latitudes uh, obviously is the equator right so that's the mean latitude uh, and I'll show you how you can calculate it arithmetically as well so uh, let's take two different cases so in the first case if the arrival and departure positions are in different hemispheres for example if you are departing from north and going to south or departing from south and going to north uh, there are actually two ways to calculate the mean latitude uh, it's also called mlat in short so mlat or mean latitude i repeat once again it's the midpoint between two latitudes all right so let's find out if the arrival and departure positions are in different hemispheres uh, what is the first way you can calculate the mlat so taking the previous example if the vessel had departed from 10 degrees north uh, and going to 10 degrees south how can you find out the mean lat well, 10 degrees north minus 10 degrees south and divided by 2 uh, which equals 0 degrees divided by 2 which is equal 0 degrees and that's the answer so if the two latitudes are in different hemispheres just subtract one from the other you can subtract the uh, smaller from the bigger number uh, and get the answer all right and the the mean latitude will always be towards the bigger latitude the value of the bigger latitude so let's take the second example here the second example is example for example if the vessel is traveling from 20 degrees 10 minutes north to 12 degrees and 20 minutes south uh, or you can even reverse it if it's traveling the other way around from 12 degrees 20 minutes south to 20 degrees 10 minutes north it doesn't matter uh, just subtract the values in this case if you subtract the values uh, it will be 7 degree 50 minutes divided by 2 which will be 3 degrees and 55 minutes and like i said the the mean lat always lies towards the latitude with higher value in this case the latitude with higher value is the north latitude so that's why your mean latitude is north in this case and it's 3 degree 55 minutes all right so you can work this out in the calculator as well i'll take one more example just for you guys and this is to show that it doesn't matter uh, which uh, what are the values they just take the smaller and multi uh, subtract it from the bigger value so in this third example if the vessel is traveling from 27 degrees 35 minutes north to 42 degrees 12 minutes south just take the smaller latitude which is the north latitude and subtract it from the bigger latitude which is south and uh, the mean lat will always be towards the bigger latitude in this case southern the southern the southern latitude has a bigger value so your mean lat will be south and just subtract the two and then divide it by two so if you subtract the two and divide it by two in the calculators this is the answer that you will be getting seven degrees 18.5 minutes All right that is one of the ways to find the mean latitude if the departure and arrival positions are in the different hemispheres now what's the second way the second way is more of a conceptual way this is the way that you can understand it so i'll take the first example again uh, if 10 degrees vessel is traveling from 10 degrees north to 10 degrees south and they are both again in the different hemispheres what you can do is uh, you can add the 2 and divide by 2 in this case what happens 10 plus 10 is 20 20 divided by 2 is 10 degrees you haven't named the mean latitude yet so what happens is once you get the value of 10 degrees uh, which is the mean value of the two latitudes you can uh, go down from the north latitude by the value of 10 degrees or you can come up uh, by a value of 10 degrees from the 10 degrees south so you have two latitudes right so the vessel uh, vessel was departing for example say from 10 degrees north to 10 degrees south uh, once you find the mean value of 10 degrees you can either come down from the north latitude or go up from the uh, south latitude by the value of the mean and you will see that you still arrive at the uh, equator in this case which is the mean latitude equator becomes the mean latitude and that's the answer you got even using the previous way okay I'll, I'll repeat again once more so if the vessel in this case was traveling from say 20 degrees north 10 minutes north to 12 degrees 20 minutes south uh, just add the two and divide by two so in this case if you add the two and divide by two you'll get 16 degrees 15 minutes and uh, what you can do is either go up from 16 degrees uh, from 12 degrees 20 minutes south 
by an amount of 16 degrees and 15 minutes or you can come down from the north latitude of 20 degrees 10 minutes by an amount of 16 degrees and 15 minutes so in both the cases you will see that uh, you have arrived at the same latitude so in this case if i come down from 20 degrees 10 minutes north to by a value of 16 degrees and 15 minutes you will still arrive at 3 degrees 55 minutes north in the case of the southern hemisphere of course in the cases of the southern hemisphere you will actually cross over the equator the equator will be somewhere here and you will cross over the equator and you will go into the uh, north hemisphere but you will arrive at the same answer you can try it out in the calculators all right the next one is if arrival and departure positions are in the same hemisphere and this is very simple this is just like calculating a mean and that's why it's probably called mean latitude so in this case if the vessel is traveling so let's take the first example if the vessel is traveling from 12 degrees north to 22 degrees north in this case just take the two values add them up and divide by 2 so in this case 12 plus 22 equals 34 34 divided by 2 is 17 degrees north and that becomes your answer that is your m lat or your mean lat for those two values or similarly if the vessel is traveling from 17 degrees 14 minutes south to 21 degrees 37 minutes south they are in the same hemispheres both the values just take the two values add the two and divide by two in this case you will get the answer as 19 degrees 25.5 minutes south and of course if both the if the vessel is still in the southern hemisphere the mean lag will also be in the southern hemisphere if the vessel's arrival and departure position are in the northern hemisphere in the, like in the first case the mean lag will still be in the northern hemisphere so it's pretty straightforward it's pretty easy you can use the mathematical rule of thumbs or you can use the conceptual uh, uh, methods uh, whatever works for you and whatever you find easy all right i hope that helped i'll see you soon uh, with my next video bye